Hi. Welcome to a random stitcher. My name is Lone. I'm from Denmark. Welcome to Flash Tube number two, and welcome to a weekly update. Yes, I have changed from. I was kind of wanting to do a Flash Tube every two weeks, but I I'm trying out once a week because I just think it could be fun. So I had a very good uh, stitching week. I think I have been working on, I picked, I thought I picked 10 last time, but I actually think I picked 11 because I picked that uh, stand one also. So I have worked on eight out of those um, 11. So that's fine. I have stitched uh, on the, uh, the products in Pattern Keeper, I have stitched 1,637 stitches uh, but other than that there is um, one two projects that is not in Passion Keeper and I have worked on those four days four times if you're new to my channel I can tell you that I first of all welcome and I can tell you that I have picked because I want to do uh, projects from my stash uh, I have picked 25 and that's changing, but 25, I picked 25 and I want to pick out from those 10 projects I will be working on. And then I'll let you know what to show you the progress update and in every flush tube in the end, I will pick new uh, projects to work on. Uh, I have changed trying this weekly and I've still pick out 10 because I just like to have options, it's so nice. <laughs> so yeah, I have uh, changed all my projects a little bit. Switched it around because I decided for myself that if I, if there was a project that was not picked yet and I haven't started it, I haven't killed it up, I was allowed to change it and replace it with something. These are from, in the basket here, th those are from those I've been working on, or those I could work on that week. So let's just check it down. Tapadilly Bunny. <laughs> here it is. Yeah. Bedelia Bunny. And I'm using my webcam because my phone would not charge. So, and it's very slow to um, focus in. So this is from the Artsy Housewife. This one I have worked on one time. I kind of went into a, um, a routine with uh, picking a new one every day. So uh, Bedelia Bunny, I have stitched on, uh, I have done 315 stitches one time and it, because I've worked on that one time before I did my last floss tube, uh, I have been working totally 633 stitches and I'm up to 13.9% for this one. And I have not taken it out. I should have done that. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. There it is. And I have accidentally, I chose a um, wrong color. For some reason, Pattern Keeper converted the colors uh, that Archie Housewife have picked, converted it to a little bit of wrong color. So I think I may need to pick those up for this because it's going, it has to be more pink. This uh, light brown here should have been pink. So I think the, the darker brown is okay, but it should have been pink in here. So I think I have to frog these <laughs> light brown ones <laughs> and put in pink. So, and, and I have fixed it. I have uh, changed the other colors so that it would be uh, fine. So it's that one. I was meant to use, I think it's colors uh, called for is, can I find it? This one, 
you probably know them. I was new to me, these type of colors. This one. Uh, Weeks Dye Works Color Linen for the Bunny. I don't know if you can focus on this. It's really slow doing this. Yeah, good. And don't look at my nails. They're really bad. So now everybody's looking <laughs> at my nails. <laughs> See your nails. <laughs> yeah, so. Very good. 315 stitches for this. Put it in the bag here. Yeah. Next one is. Uh, what is this? Yeah. This is my Hoffler Express. Next one. And I have done 401 stitches, so I'm up to 1.78%. And I started up in this corner, and the way I'm going to do it yeah, is I'm going to work here and go down, and then take another, go down, and then go down. So that's just how I'm going to do it. So I am stitching on... Bedelia Bunny was 14 count, and this is... Also 14 count. Here it is. So, this one. So all these uh, projects here is uh, going back in the pot, so they, they can be picked again. Next one is my little. Um, Bunny's nectar. <laughs> Just stamped. I have worked on this three times, I think. Yeah, three times. And this is how far I got. I'm almost done, actually. Uh, I have, uh, of course, um, here, down here something and also um, a little bit yeah around but I tried to uh, to to do the back stitching just to see how it would uh, be so I tried to do that back stitching on one of the bunny <laughs> really shaking <laughs> uh, just to see because if you without any back stitching without any back stitching you really can see what it is that's all. So <laughs> I can kind of see it's a flower and thing, but so this is just a dress Sunday, and um, I just love this. <laughs> so it's a cute little one, and a nice one to sit and just stitch when you were watching a movie or something. So yeah. So see, days working on there. And this one, yeah, Frida. I actually did uh, start Frida. Uh, Frida is a person I got from a friend. Uh, it is from Barbara Anna Design. I think it's from a magazine, though. I'm not sure. Here it is. Yeah, I actually really love it. So this one I could not get in pets and keep, of course. But I stitched on this one time, and this is what I got. Not much. There it is. So this is um, here. Open this. Here, <laughs> that color, that flower, and a little bit the top of uh, yeah. her hair, I think. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of her hair. So of course I cannot say how. I, I don't count stitches when I am not uh, using Pesan I just... I have seen some using something to um, to count every time you do a stitch, but I would totally get lost in it and forget it, and yeah, so I just don't. So for those that's not in Pesan Kiva, I just count how many times I work on it instead. So this is my Jurassic Park, and this I have put in 257 stitches, so I'm up to 43.4% because I have done 881 in total. This one. 
Can you see the dinosaur? The T-Rex. <laughs> the head is here. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you the whole thing. Yeah. Here it is. How's it look? I love it. <laughs> so fun. I dyed this fabric myself. This is also 14 count. What did I stitch on with the... Uh, that um, I think Frida is also at 18 count, uh, 14 count, Ada. Yeah. So, yeah, 43.4% with this Jurassic Park. It's a small one. So, what do we got here? Little Dove Design. <coughs> Little Dove Design. I put in a picture here. <coughs> Taking it out. You really should have. There it is. One of these small ones. I love these size. Nice. So yeah. I did February last month. Yeah. And this is how far I got. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. I think I should hire another one to do plus two. Here it is. How oh, cute. This sheep. Got some of that grass done. <laughs> down here. Yeah. I don't think I did anything else. So how many stitches? 63. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's all. Uh, in total I have done 463 on this whole thing. So I'm up to 2.34%. My goal is to do a month every month, but since I am picking out 10, I don't know if I should just uh, choose that to be picked every time. I don't know. Let's see. Next up is uh, my little Viking. I have worked on that one time and I um, did 141 stitches. This is also 14 count. I just thought it would be a little bit too small if I, because it's a small one. Anyway. This one. A little Viking gnome. I love it. And this is what I have been doing. Can you see the top of the helmet and a little bit of the nose? <laughs> Here. Here there's a nose. <laughs> so yeah, 9.48%. Actually, I uh, have written it 16 count. Did I do it in 16 count? I actually think I did. That's why it's so small. 16 count. Apparently. I lost 16 count. Very nice. Oh, lost one. I also actually like the colors in this one. Beautiful, I think. Blues and these creamy color together. Beautiful. And I love gnomes. So cute. This one, I haven't started this one, but I can show you. That's part of uh, my um, 26. It's just a small one here. Lucky mannequin kit. <coughs> uh, I'm doing it on a fabric I dyed myself, this one, uh, for the background, because I don't want to do the, the reddish background, so do any of this, I think it could be cute. I 
have the color ready and everything, so just I don't know why, I just didn't yeah. I just, just didn't start it. So. <laughs> Some, sometimes how it goes. So next one is my Freddy. Oh man, I had trouble with that. I actually got a cut a lot done and let me show the picture. This one. Queen. I love it. Um and let's see, Freddy, yeah. I got 460 stitches done in one day, so that's actually very good. But I have done it on a very, very lousy um, cross stitch, uh, nonsense fabric. So I started up in this corner up here and I wanted to do the same as my Hogwarts uh, Express. Down, down, down. But this, I can't see anything else. Yeah. It is so, I don't know. Um, the stitches is not straight. It's like going like this and it just looks awful. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to not do the background. I'm going to only do Queen and uh, Freddy. And I am choosing one of these. Uh, uh, these are 16 count um, dyed fabric. I have not dyed these myself. I bought them. So either this one or this one. Can you see? Oh, probably cannot, but it's a little bit more green than it appears. So it's actually some beautiful green. Now. But the one I actually think I'm going to choose is this one. I think it could be very dramatic. <laughs> so choose the the darker one here for the top where the name queen will be, and then the lighter here for his uh, legs could be good I think and I, and there's enough here so I think that's what I'm going to choose so I'm going to start over with this Freddy I was up to was at uh, where are you 1.55% No. Oh, what do we have next? We have butterfly. By the way, this very beautiful. It isn't passing. Passing keep it compatible. I got it from Etsy. Freddy is also from Etsy. Viking is from Etsy. <laughs> A lot of stuff is from Etsy. But uh, butterfly, I haven't got around to either. So that's what I've been working on. Let's see. Uh, Bedelia, yeah. Freddy, Freda, Hogwarts, Jurassic, Disney, Viking, Bernie's next time. Yes. So those were what I have been working on. Let's take a quick look at uh, the rest of what is in my rotation. So I put in a new one. This one. This is a stand one. Just because I love Harry Potter. Here it is. Harry Potter book, magic book, just on there, and I'm actually going to unbox it, unboxing video, but yeah, it is also one I picked because I have uh, Hogwarts Express, so I thought a little Harry Potter more could not hurt anyone. <laughs> so another one I picked, uh, put in, um, because I thought I would have some more uh, stamp one to choose from. It is this one. This is from AliExpress. It is, uh, I think it's 11 count. Yep. 11 count and it's not very big. And it's, I just simply adore this <laughs> cat. I love cats. I love cats. So that's that one. Um, I was thinking about the um, Harry Potter Sandler, but I haven't put it in um, officially, so I'm not sure 
don't think I have. I have the list here, and that's what I'm looking at. I'm not. Sure. I don't think I have put it in. I'm not sure. I'm going to. So next one is a um, a little customized one I got made for my granddaughter. From I got it from Fences. I've been waiting for months for those. I did a video about that. <laughs> this one. I cannot remember what the. Um, uh, will you focus? Guess not. I can see if it's focusing, but it's a uh, it's a Pokemon thing. I cannot remember what the name is, but I know my granddaughter is just crazy about this. So I got it. Um, 11 count. I'm really not crazy about 11 count, but it's just I want to have it finished for her birthday in all oh, Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to do it uh, for her. So try to make it as much easier as I can. So actually this was also put in extra. I cannot remember what I took out. It's so annoying. I can't. So. So I got something from Etsy and I just completely fell in love with it. Um, let's see here. It is from Quaternion Creations. Quaternion. She's called Maria. And the process is called uh, I Am the Color. And. Um, does it say anything? Inspired by the nymph turned goddess of flowers, Flora. Greek, in Greek it's called Chloris. This design is a celebration of spring. It's very appropriate. It's this one. Is it frozen? I haven't got a clue. Now it is. I love the colors and I just love this piece. I am the color and the color is me. This just screams spring, 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 spring. Eight colors. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, eight colors. So, and I'm doing this on a um, antique white. Ada, um, yeah, antique white Ada, six point uh, four. That's that's six. That's sixteen count. Six point four. Yeah, sixteen count. So antique white. I think that could be cute for her. So she is uh, going in. How big is it? How big is it? 139 by 189 stitches. Yes, I haven't found the colors for her yet, but I will if she gets picked. So next one is an Oli. I haven't worked on it. I didn't think it got... No, it wasn't picked this week, uh, last week. So this is my green lady. If you're not new to my channel, you've probably seen it. Here it is. No. This is just not working, this focus. It is um, this webcam. But my phone will not charge. Something wrong with it. So. <laughs> it's fine. So this is also still in. Then I have my little... Um, Cat with roses, she's also still in. There she is. That's just a cute little one. It's only, I'm doing it on 14 count, 10 colors, and it is uh, 100 by 100 stitches. So this is also still in. And I have this. This is um, classic butterfly. Yeah, 
It is from Sheena Roger Designs. Simply love this one. So cute. I'm not doing a pillow. I'm doing a picture, I think. So this is also in. It didn't get paid last. And my another Joy Sunday uh, beaders. Let's start this. But it didn't get picked. So here is my uh, Mareka. Cross this my new one. I haven't started it yet. It didn't get picked. I love it. It's a little red cat in the window. Summer afternoon, it's called. And there's a video about that, my because this was my most expensive process. <laughs> I don't know why. So I love it. Um, I am going to be uh, participating in a kind of event from... What was it from? Um, oh, I have it here. Yeah, uh, Blushing Pink Stitches are doing some kind of an event. All the kids, April. So I am doing this, so when it comes to April, this will be in every week. And also a Riolis kit I'm waiting for. It's on the way, I think it's going to be here next week. So these two definitely going in, but for this week it's just going in normally. So if it gets picked, it fine. it's fine. And wonderful, <laughs> if not, it's okay. So next one is um, my Nordic Heart. This one. This is from Modern Folk Embroidery. So didn't get picked and I haven't started it yet. It's a new start. So from a book called um, Crustates of the Year of 1980. This one. I'm doing this particular one. I planned this, but I haven't uh, started it yet, and it didn't get picked, so... Then I have another one from Modern Folk Embroidery. It's called um, Ruskin's Penguins. So it's a fun little one. I love it. Didn't get picked. There's two colors here. So when I'm doing it on this... Um, 18 count. I have uh, dyed myself. It's kind of, um, I don't know, maybe you cannot see it, but I dyed it with a color called coffee and I didn't leave it in for long and I kind of tried to make it a little bit of spotted or something and uh, it's, it's hard to see because of the light, but it's actually working out brilliantly. I love the colors. Going to be very beautiful on, on this one. So that's also still in. So I have two left. <laughs> I haven't counted. <laughs> it's 26. <laughs> this is Mini Cities. Uh, this one is far small one I have uh, put together as one. These four. It's four cities I have been in myself. So I didn't get picked. I have done almost two whole uh, London and uh, Amsterdam. So, last one, as far as I know. It is uh, a heaven and earth one that didn't get picked. It is something my daughter really wanted. This one, whoops. A uh, artwork from by Adele's, artwork by Adele Sisler called Mini Beloved. So, black and grey and grey and grey and grey <laughs> colors. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't get picked. So, yeah. And there may be more. Let's lose this. Um, I may be adding some more because I have fallen in love again with some new ones. My stomach is really growling. There's this one. 
Isn't that cute? Oh, there's a glare. Oh, there. It's two gnomes. This is from uh, Soda Stitch Design. <laughs> Do you know about Soda Stitch Design? I have just learned from one of the floss uh, tubers I have watched. My goodness, there's a lot of cute ones there. So I have also my eye on... Is there also that? Soda Stitch? Yeah. <laughs> This one, oh my god, isn't it cute? Summer, I love it. So, these two, I think, is going in. Yeah, I also okay. I have two more. This one, this is birth flowers. What's this from? So, does this design? No. Oh my god. I'm frozen. I don't know. I can't see. Yeah, July. Gnome. <laughs> I love it. And gnomes again. But this is for Christmas, so I'm not sure I'm going to start this. But look at it. Oh man. Look at it. It's just cute. A gnome, Christmas gnome, that has been in the forest and picked up some mushrooms and and what? Nuts and berries. All the things you need. <laughs> cute. Cute, cute. So those are one did I yeah, there was one more actually I thought about. This is from also from Quater Qu I can't say that. Quaternion. Qu Quaternion creations. It's this one. I actually really love it. It's called uh, Nevermind. And <laughs> the passive aggressive raven stitching design, snarky raven and moon chart, Poe inspired. I just love this. Nevermind. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. But, um,. It's not putting in, uh, putting them in this time, so but another time maybe. Oh, I closed it. It wasn't meant for closing. Yeah, I think that's it. And I was talking, uh, I wanted to, t yeah, my plans for next week. I am going to reorganize this way. What if I'm going? Yeah, here. Yeah. You can see my floss there. So I was watching, uh, I think it was a camping stitcher, and she mentioned, she showed also that she has been reorganizing all of her floss, and the way she has done it is so clever. I didn't know there was a, it existed, but I haven't been stitched, been sitting that long. So uh, she had a very very fancy book, and I don't have that, but it's DMC ch um, floss chart. And apparently there's um, groups in this that chart. Um, for example, here it's like their families, so they are the same. I don't know. Uh, they're divided in groups, and they you have a whole thing here, paper thing here. You can see all the groups, and then you can look up your color, and then you can find out which group which group it's in, like. The way I have done it now is I have just all the reds in one, all the orange in one, all the blues in one. So if I want a specific red one, I have to go through a lot. And these are not all my floss. I have so many I need to sort there. And I have a whole um, thing here uh, full of floss, which I haven't gotten around to yet. And I think I have some more in another place. Um, so I'm going to sort these in these grooves. My husband has promised to help me. So I can get system in. I love systems. <laughs> uh, I'm still using my uh, spread seed and I have um, kind of uh, developed it a little bit more so that now I can see how many percentage percentages I have done on each uh, pattern keeper project. So I can just sit and really do the nerd thing. <laughs> love it. I forgot how much I really loved the Excel spreadsheets. I love them, my favorite. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, 
and also simply reorganizing my craft room. I need to have more system in my stuff. I have just too much to miss. I need to have my fabric in one place and my kids reorganized some way. So yeah, a little bit of work to do, but that's the fun kind of work, right? <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, so um, let me just uh, mention one of the new to me channels I've been watching because I am I have been uh, kind of investigating how to do this flush tube. So I have been uh, I stumbled across a yeah kind of a lot of flush tubes. So uh, blushing pink stitches. She's the one with um, all the kids. April talking dog stitcher. She was she is very entertaining. I think uh, gender caffeinated stitcher. I am uh, completely blown away uh, of um, her way of doing things. It, she speaks to my inner nerd. Totally. <laughs> I love this. I, can, I haven't, I don't know, sometimes I can't even watch a movie one and a half hour, but I have sit and watched her video two and a half hours. That's just stitching and, and just watch her whip parade or whatever it was and I uh, just love it. And then there's a running stitcher. He's uh, very entertaining I think doing a some very interesting projects. Fun with, with cross stitch. I love her way of uh, picking the big ones and I'm very over the moon of um, the way she handles it and just get some stitches in and yeah love that beautiful one she's doing uh, yeah also uh, crafty gaming Jamie and stitching Liz also a new one I have stumbled across I actually really love her and uh, her the project she's doing some different ones I love that so yeah I think that's it 300 310 stitcher I have also written down so yeah that's just uh, some of those i have been uh, adding to my list the last week <laughs> i think a couple of those i have been watching a couple of weeks but yeah uh, yes what now what now i think we're going to uh, pick uh, 10 10 pieces 10 pieces Okay, so I have paper and a pen and I have the pot, 26 is in here, so let's do it, 20, that is, uh, yes, summer afternoon. Finally, some afternoon. I'm going to work on a, a little cat. Get some stitching. This is a count, uh, a county one, and I cannot put it in pattern keeper. So, okay, number ten. It is Freddy again. Where did you go? I think you were here. So yeah, I get to start on my new fabric. That's nice. Number three. 25. That is a Pokemon stamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, just what Pokemon? Yeah, that is... Um, what are you? Just the one with a little, yeah, this one. Okay, Pokemon stamped. I need to find a name. Does anyone of you know what the name is? I could probably find out. But... Number four, 12. That is Jurassic Park. Ooh, yeah. 
I love, love to finish that. So it is up here. Jurassic Park. I also has have a Jurassic World. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. It's just the same, just say world instead of packs as me. Number 15, and that is a Lucky Maniki Cat. So it got drawn again. Let's see if I can get to it this time. Yeah. Just a small one. So, so now we're going to number six. Number four. Cat with Roses. It is here, cat with roses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was two, four, six. That was six. So cat with roses. Yeah. What do we have here? Sixteen. That is mini beloved. Going to start my heaven and earth. So let's dig in some grays and blacks and ugh. interesting, interesting. Mini beloved. Seven heavy pick now, so no eight is number twenty-one. Viking gnome. Okay, so let's move on with that one. So, two left. Number 14. Didn't we take that? No, it was four. Mm. 14. And that is a little Dutch here. Good. Maybe I can finish that actually this time. It's this one. Actually, we should just take these out. So, and put them back in here. Ah, there's one I forgot to show you actually. It was in my... Um, also, in my rotation, it was just so small, <laughs> it was down in the bottom, and I haven't worked on it, so, this one. It is a Barbara Anna design. Dreaming Girl, I have Dreaming Frida on my wall back there, so. Let's put these in, because if not, they're going to land on my floor. In a matter of minutes. There are stains on this one. Hmm. Good. Was that nine? So, last one. I looked. <laughs> That's not okay. That's supposed to look. Doesn't matter, I can remember what the numbers are. So, so number nine. Uh, yes, I am the colors. I was so hoping for that. Where did you go, my friend? Yes, she is. Yes, I am the color. So, those were my ten. Ten projects. I am the color. So this is going to be uh, one week before I do my next uh, floss tube again. So I probably will not be working on ten in a whole week. But now I have options. I think I really need to. Um, I I really should uh, do that mini beloved. I can just feel myself just oh, all that grey and black, but maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I should just get on with it. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so yeah. Some afternoon, Freddy, Pokemon, Jurassic Park, Cat with Roses, Mini Beloved, Viking, Maniki, Cat, Little Doves here, and I am the color. So how many 
stamped. I think there's only one stamped Pokemon, but it's fine. As long as there's one stamped, that's fine. So, yeah, that's it. Under one hour. That's great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 26 uh, projects in total, and I have picked 10 out of those. I think um, there will be, because that Riolis is coming also, so I think we'll end up 30 projects, but probably Bunny's Nectar didn't get picked this time, but uh, there's, I think, one, maybe two sitting uh, with that one that we finished. Jurassic Park is uh, finished soon also, so I can take one some out. <laughs> I think somewhere between 25 and 30 would be my rotation. So yeah, and I will um, start doing this um, reorganizing my thread. I floss. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm I'm sorry, my webcam is uh, on top of my uh, laptop, so the screen's going like this every time. I... <laughs> We've just been out walking by the, the ocean. The sun is shining, it's very spring, and all the bushes were uh, with green leaves, and uh, I love it. Such a wonderful time of the year, just a little bit warmer could be nice. We are only down to 3-4 degrees today, so but a lot of sun and not much wind, so love it. Okay, so that was it, my flash tube number two. I hope you liked it and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope there's sound because uh, as I said, webcam, not using my phone as I usually do. So um, hope there's sound. If not, you will never see this video. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful uh, day and rest of the Sunday. Um, I will speak to you in the next one. Take care and happy stitching. Bye bye.